Okay, Python. <gasps> Where did it go? The Python is headed out the window. Oh, no. Jetpack activate. Where did it go? Come back, Python. Where are you, Python? Come on out. Did the Python come this way? What? Leo, you lost it? Hello, Junior Rangers. Where's the reticulated python? Um, I lost it. Yeah, the python's probably far away by now. Don't give up, Junior Rangers. The python could still be in the area, so be careful as you search the area. Don't get too close to the python. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're on it. Let's do this. Jetpack Jet activate. activate. Time to roll. Where are you, Python? Come on out! Where are you, Python? Come on out! Any Pythons here? Python? Are you there? Did anyone find the Python? Nope. <laughs> Hero? <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Stand back, children. Hero? Oh, it's just a piece of rope. Did you think it was a snake? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo, there's a snake in my bathroom. Check it out. Whoa, it's huge. Keep a safe distance away from it, Zari. How did it get there? I'm safe, Leo, but I don't know how the snake got here. A bathroom's no place for a snake to live in. We need to get it home. Did someone say snake? Yeah, there's one in Zari's bathroom, Katie. Don't worry, Zari. We'll find out more about the snake and come right over to help you. Great! Ranger out! Ranger out! Katie, we need to find out more about the snake in Zari's bathroom. I'm already on it. See you later, hero! <laughs> Katie, did you find anything? Let's see. The snake in Zari's bathroom is a reticulated python. They are one of the world's longest snakes, and they're native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. That makes sense. Zari lives in Singapore, which is in Southeast Asia. But to find it in a bathroom? Yeah, that is strange. Reticulated pythons are usually found in tropical rainforests. They are non-venomous, but they have long, sharp teeth that could give you a nasty bite. Articulated pythons are constrictors, which means they coil around prey and squeeze them tightly. Oh no! We better hurry over to Zari right now! See you downstairs! Ranger Leo all set! Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Let's head up to Zari's place. Zari, are you okay? Huh? What are you doing, Zari? I'm playing the recorder to hypnotize the python with music so it'll be calm. That way, it won't hurt us when we try to move it home. Are you sure that'll work? Of course. I saw it on a TV show. Don't believe everything you see on TV, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? Playing music won't hypnotize pythons. They don't hear sounds the same way as humans. Oh, then what should we do? Sorry, Junior Rangers. I have an emergency to attend to. Can you keep an eye on the python? I'll be back soon. But remember to keep a safe distance from it. You can count on us. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. 
Okay, Python. <gasps> Where did it go? The python is headed out the window. Oh, no. Jetpack activate. Where did it go? Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the, the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants want to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer-upper, Fluffy, and the Imp. Uh, Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... This yummy sweet called mochi came from this country and is popular everywhere. They look a little like marshmallows. But they're actually sweet rice cakes that come in all kinds of colors. Oh, so close! Your second clue is their New Year's tradition of mochi making. It takes all day to make, even starting the night before. Grab a partner, because it takes at least two people, a hammer, and a big bucket to pound the rice. Imp, huh? you are correct! Aha! Today's mystery country is... Yeah. Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where, Where in the World. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. A duck goes quack, quack, quack. You can read about the sheep, Paula. Okay, Billy. A sheep goes... <laughs> Which animal is next? Wow, so many animals. Yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five animals on this page. Hey, there are one, two, three, four, five of us. We can each take one animal. Yeah, okay. Moo, moo. Oof, oof, oof. Oink, oink, oink. Moo, oof, oof, oof. oink, oink, oink. <laughs> wait, wait. Check out Calc the chicken. And Chucky's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Reading this book reminds me of the animals in the farm. I miss them. Me too. Then let's visit the farm animals. To Buggy, everyone. Woohoo! One, two, three, four, five fake eggs. Fake eggs help train the hens to lay their real eggs in the right place. Farm animals, here we come. Fluffy sheep. Hi, piggies. Oink, 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 oink. oink. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Woofy? Woofy, where are you, boy? Woofy, wait for me. <laughs> Woofy. Aww. Who's a good boy? You are, Woofy. Oh, hello, children. What brings you here? Hi, Mr. Farmer. We're here to visit the animals. Oh, you should go visit the chickens. Their eggs may hatch any day now. Ooh, chickies. Let's go see. Thanks, Mr. Farmer. Are you coming with us, Mr. Farmer? No, I've got lots of work to do. You children go on ahead. Okay, we won't disturb you then. Bye-bye. Hi, chickens. <laughs> <gasps> 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 
the eggs are over here. How many are there? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. I found another egg over here. It's all alone. Oh, no. It doesn't have anyone to help it hatch out of its shell, Paula. Let's just put it back with the other eggs. But maybe the chickens do not want to help this egg. That's why they put it all the way over here. Don't worry, Billy. Let's just ask Mr. Farmer how to help it hatch. No, we can't. Mr. Farmer's really busy. We cannot disturb him. He is? Eat up, pigs. Bath time. Eat up, Woofy. I got you, Rooster. Eat up, ducks. Hmm. In that case, we will help to hatch the egg. What should we do? Uh... uh... You have no idea, do you, Paula? Yes, I do. Let me think. Hmm. Aha! We'll ask the supercomputer. Great idea, Paula. You go. I'll stay with Edna. <laughs> That's a great name for the egg, Billy. How can Chalky, you stay with Billy and help him look after Edna? Tim, come with me. Sure, Paula. Let's go. Are you comfy, Edna? Do you need some water? Thanks, Calc. Okay, supercomputer. How do we hatch an egg? And run the numbers! Chickens? But we don't have any. Let me tell the supercomputer that. No chickens. It's done! To hatch an egg, step one, get a container. Step two, put the egg in the container. Step three, use heat from a lamp to keep it warm. That sounds easy. But we don't have the same lamp. What about this flashlight? That could work. Let's go back to the farm. Has Egna hatched yet? Not yet, Tim. Hey, this flashlight isn't warm at all. That must be why Egna's not hatching. Then we need more heat. I know. We can use Buggy. I'll just make Buggy's light stronger. Whoa. Here you go, Egna. It's time to hatch. Guys, this is taking too long. Let's just be patient, Tim. Ugh. Calc and I will just go and get one of the chickens to sit on Egna. Wow! Did you guys get a chicken? No, but I can be a chicken. I'll just sit on Egna. No way! You're too heavy, Tim. Yeah, let Calc do it. Ha! I would have made a much better chicken than Calc. Let's just put Egna back under Buggy's warm light and wait for her to hatch. No, that's too slow. Just let me handle it, Tim. No, I'll hatch Egna. No, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. No, me. No, guys, me. Be careful I'll with do Egna, it. please. I'll do it. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Whew. Oh no! Whoa! No! Egna! <gasps> oh, I think you hatched Egna, Billy. Well done. Huh? Who's Egna? She is, but there's no chick inside. The shell? 
<laughs> it's not real. Fake eggs like this show the hens where they should lay their own eggs, so I can find them easily. So Eggna wasn't real? Oh man! Well, would you like to see some real eggs hatching? Yes, yes! Okay. Wow! Cool! There are one, two, three, four, five chicks! That's right, Billy! Aw, hi, chickies! They're so cute! Number of the day! Junior Rangers, where's the reticulated python? Um, I lost it. Yeah, the python's probably far away by now. Don't give up, Junior Rangers. The python could still be in the area. Even though reticulated pythons are good swimmers and climbers, they don't move very fast on land. Reticulated pythons are usually shy and avoid human contact, but they can turn aggressive if they feel threatened. So be careful as you search the area. Don't get too close to the python. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're on it. Let's do this. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. Time to roll. Where are you, python? Come on out. Where are you, python? Come on out. Any pythons here? Python, are you there? Did anyone find the python? Nope. <laughs> Hero? <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Stand back, children. Everything is fine. Hello, Ranger Rocky. Did you manage to rescue the reticulated python? I'm handling it as we speak. Who's that, Ranger Rocky? This is Ranger Kalai from Acres, an organization that focuses on wildlife rescue. He also has an interesting python rescue story. Oh, really? Tell us, Ranger Kalai. I remember a few years ago, um, I had this case where there was a python sighted in the toilet um, of this residential area. The python was actually stuck in the toilet bowl. Uh, we had to use certain methods because obviously snakes are very shy of people. So we had to actually wait behind the toilet bowl and wait for the snake to come out a bit uh, before we got hold of the snake and gently pulled him out. So that was quite interesting um, and probably the only time that we had to actually retrieve a snake from a toilet bowl. So reticulated pythons, uh, they are one of the more common species that you can find in urban Singapore. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, uh, due to misconceptions, may see them as pest animals, but they are not. Reticulated pythons, they are very important for our ecosystem as they help to keep our rodent population down. Uh, more than 90% of the diet um, has been found to be rats in the study done. They are using our vast drainage networks, canals and monsoon drains where they ambush and prey on uh, rats and other small animals. If you were to see a reticulated python within an urban residential area, don't be alarmed. Just keep a distance of about 2-3 to three meters. 
and help to do some crowd control if possible. The most important thing is that nobody disturbs the snake so that the snake does not become defensive. Um, if you can, take a photo of the snake and call the correct people for help. You can call Acres or you can also call the MPAX hotline. That was very interesting. I learned a lot. Thanks, Ranger Kalai. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now it's time to bring this python home. Here you go. Goodbye, python. Stay safe. Don't wander into any more bathrooms. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got the python out of Zari's bathroom. Ooh, speaking of bathrooms, I gotta use the toilet. Be careful of the snake in there. W what <laughs> Just kidding. Ugh, Katie, I gotta go so bad. <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call the authorities. Reach out to these agencies for assistance. Here are their numbers. Support Singapore's wildlife agencies by donating to their causes or becoming a volunteer. Check out these links. Ranger, Ranger out! out.